Hi there. Today I'm going to review a fountain pen. A fountain pen from Parker, particularly the Sonnet series, the Cizel Sterling Silver version. The Sonnet series of Parker fountain pens can be found in different materials and finishes. However, the fountain pen I'm going to review today, it has a Cizel parter pattern and a body um, made from sterling silver. Uh, the fountain pen I purchased from Amazon and it comes into a box like this, very pretty finish for the box, it's kind of gold grey uh, look and it has a Parker logo and Parker inscription. So the body of the box is quite big and it has a very nice smooth finishes to finish to it. Inside of it this part fountain pen can be uh, seen, which I'm going to review in just a second. Inside of the box it comes cushioned with a very nice le leathery material. Under the fountain pen bed can be found the Parker manual for inking and maintenance of the pen. I think also the warranty. And also inside of the box, it comes with a um, cartridge, Parker cartridge with ink, the long version, um, which is probably blue ink. And it also has another place, probably for something longer. I'm not sure in my case it was completely empty. So the box is quite nice, a little bit oversized for the size of this pen so I'm going to put it away and I'm going to continue with reviewing the pen now the overall description of the pen this pen as I said it has a body made out of solid sterling silver that is an alloy consisting of 92 0.5% silver and just 7.5% copper. You can observe the Cizel pattern, which is nothing else than a cross hatched grid on the surface of the silver. And this cross hatched grid, it gives a very nice classic look that sets it out from all the other pens that I've seen so far. It has an unbelievable classy elegance to it. It reminds me of the um, Burberry materials or clothing. As you can see this cross hatched pattern is etched in black while the silver forms this nice um, squares, little squares distributed all over the the pen. This pen is coming with a gold trim, especially around the uh, cap, the cap ring and the, um, the clip, also around the finial, which I'm going to be talking about shortly. But this gold trim gives it, matches very well with the silver and it gives, it enhances its already beautiful elegance, classic elegance of the Cizel pattern. Now more about the pen. You can see here the barrel, the cap of the pen. Let's talk about the cap of the pen next. The cap of the pen is a, has a clip which is a classical Parker clip which is the arrow kind of arrow shape also on the cap you can find this very nice gold ring on which is written Parker Sonnet France and I think is it's very hard to see but in this behind 
cap. The cap is marked with the inscription 925, which stands for the sterling silver, the quality of the silver. So it's not like you're getting just the silver, but it's also marked and that it makes it very credible. Now, the cap continues with the finial. The finial looks pretty much like a standard Parker finial with the black button here. And the clip is fixed from this ring at the finial. It's, it's a medium hard clip in strength, but it's very usable, usable, very classic Parker clip, which I had no problem so far with it. I think it's very nice. The barrel of the pen ends up in a, another little dot here. And initially I thought it was a hole, but no, it's a plug, kind of a black plug and it's rounded off in kind of keeping the barrel in balance and overall look of the pen in very very nice balance. Now the Sonen Sizel uh, Silver version is nothing else than a continuation of the famous Parker 75 series of uh, cross-hatched grid pattern that Parker launched at the commercial launch in 1964 Parker 75 family. As I said this pen can be bought in different kind of finishes and materials. I think you can find plastic, you can find um, a chrome finish, metal and so on. But from all these pens from Parker, I think this is by far the most elegant look and it's also probably by far the most expensive. Now, the section of the pen is not its resin, it's PMMA resin and it has here some two margins left and right from the injection molding which is kind of uh, sad a little bit for this uh, for the price of this pen but anyways this don't bother me it's quite smooth and it's quite fine and this section tam uh, flares out a little bit and ends up with another gold trim ring and makes it very pleasant to hold and holds it from the hand slipping towards the the nib. Now um, the pen comes with a converter which is a Parker converter but I think it fits universal standard converters as well. This is a I found this a little bit um, a good quality. Um, it's not screwed in but just pressed. I found it sometimes a little bit loose. It the colors of the color of it is a little bit gray. So in case you forgot what inked what ink you put in after opening it won't tell you much because of this grayish window here. Inside the section uh, threads are metal here as well as that from the barrel so it makes for a very nice and smooth uh, gliding. It will also never break because the metal holds well. Sometimes before I bought it I was afraid that these uh, threads will be plastic which uh, on, on metal might, might create issues but no, no it's metal on metal so everything is fine. The inside of the barrel looks also very cool. Makes me think it's a, it, it's a very nice workmanship from Parker for this pen. Very beautiful looking and it's not extremely heavy. I didn't weigh it but um, I think it's a few grams. It's not, not, not heavier than any other 
um, metal barrels. Maybe, maybe it's a between a resin barrel in weight and a, a metal barrel that we can find maybe in Chinese pens or so. Now, the most beautiful part of it is here. I found the the nib. The nib is a gold, 18 karat gold, and it's very. It has a very very beautiful design on it. One of the best I've seen so far. In my opinion, the best design of the nibs are made by Pelican in their Sovereign series, and but also the Parker is monotone uh, uh, nib, but still looks looks very uh, gorgeous. If I get can get this to focus here, I apologize. I have this magnifying glass, which I was hoping that it will help it. Uh, distinguish the text on it but anyways I think the camera won't just won't focus very well let me see let me bring it back and focus there you go so this is the this is the very nice nib I'll stop him now ah, hopeless Ah, there you go without the magnifying glass so you see it's very nice and beautiful gold nib with very nice design it has a parker uh, it says parker on it and below 18 karat gold and then above it uh, almost like a cross hatch design but it's uh, the lines are cutting somehow it has an angle larger than 90 degrees below it you have a very nice parker ebonite feed which so far has been working very well the size of the nib is uh, fine you can find also in medium or I haven't seen broad so far but I presume you can also find the broad versions so this nib is as it came it hasn't been grinded like some of the reviewers that review pens do this is presented as it came from the factory. Now this pen is now uninked. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna do a sample writing and I'm gonna use the Mont Blanc ink, the toffee brown version. I like very much this color and it's a great ink. I recommend you should you should try. So now I'm gonna ink uh, the pen with this ink. As you can see, I've never opened this one, so it's brand new bottle of ink from Mont Blanc. Let me put this away. And next, we're gonna ink the pen with this ink. looks beautiful so the pen and we are gonna do a writing sample I found this a little bit unfortunate the converter it's kind of heavy to operate when you turn it it kind of because it's not screwed in it turns with the whole uh, the whole converter here Inked it up. Other than that, it's very nice and smooth. I think the quality is very good. Now oh, look at this: the brown, the brown ink looks very beautiful on gold. Come on, my camera is lazy today; it doesn't focus very fast. Let's see. Oh, there you go. It gives this beautiful color, the toffee brown on the gold background of the nib. Anyways, so let's wipe the pen. Okay, very nice. And we are going to do a writing sample. The paper I'm going to use is a notebook. That from Leuchttur here, the 
famous Leuchtturm notebooks and the reason I'm going to use this paper is because it's pretty standard and people can find it in different versions and it's a very nice carry with A5 notebook for journaling or writing notes or agenda or anything else. So I'm going to do a writing sample but let me zoom in the camera now. Start with a blank page. So Okay, great. This is the writing sample. This is it, Parker. Sonnet. Season Silva. As mentioned before, this is a continuation. of the Parker 75 family and it has a cross hatched pattern or grid and gives this gives it the, the elegance the classical elegance of this pen. It, may, it sets it off from all the others. Now, this version of the 